The Indian Navy has established an artificial intelligence experience hub. The Tejas Mark 1 aircraft crash in March this year was caused by oil pump malfunction that resulted in engine failure. India and France have started the second round of negotiations for the procurement of 26 Rafale Marine fighter jets today. The Royal Malaysian Air Force is considering acquisition of two squadrons of Su-57 fighter jets by 2035. HAL will roll out the first full-scale prototype of CATS Warrior Loyal Wingman in 2026. Advanced Weapons and Equipment India Limited has delivered over 13,000 JVPCs to state police and central armed police forces. The commander of Indian Army's Western Command visited SSS Defences Facility at Bangalore. The Indian Army is all set to issue the request for proposal for the procurement of 1,770 future ready combat vehicles. Bharat Dynamics will start fabricating wing kits for the new Garut Mark II glide bomb, and it is set to start trials soon. The Indian Air Force is actively seeking the expertise of Indian private sector companies to undertake substantial repairs on two of its IL-76 aircraft. India and France have started the second round of negotiations for 26 Rafale Marine deal, and the discussion is expected to continue for the next 10 days. Officials have said that India is bargaining hard for getting a better price during the ongoing negotiation with France, where the French proposal is estimated to be over 50,000 crore rupees for the complete contract including weapons, India-specific enhancements, landing equipment for carrier operations, as well as packages for integrating Indian weapons on the aircraft. The Indian side is clear about the negotiations, and wants to use the previous 36 Rafale aircraft deal as the base price for the naval deal, including inflation costs that were agreed upon between the two sides in the previous deal. SSS Defence has completed delivery of a mega export contract from a friendly foreign country for the supply of 0.338 Lapier Magnum caliber sniper rifle, and the export customer is speculated to be Armenia. This is the first time when India has exported indigenous sniper rifles to a foreign country that is completely designed and made in India. SSS Defence has also bagged contracts for the supply of nearly $50 million worth of ammunition from multiple friendly countries. An ongoing investigation into the first ever crash of the Indian Air Force's Tejas Mark I fighter jet in March this year, points towards engine seizure as the most likely cause of the accident, which appears to have been caused by an oil pump malfunction. The Indian Air Force ordered inspection of each Tejas aircraft after the March 12 crash, and safety checks on the entire fleet were carried out, but no safety issues were found with the fighter jets. Larsen and Tubro has won an order for part construction of two fleet support ships from Hindustan Shipyard Limited. With 45,000 ton displacement, the fleet support ships will carry and supply the fighting warships with large quantities of fuel water ammunition and stores. Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders is in advanced discussions for a 35,000 crore rupees deal for three Calvary class submarines, and each upgraded submarine is expected to cost between $1.2 billion and $1.3 billion which marks a significant jump of over 62% compared to the six Calvary-class submarines previously acquired by India at a total cost of $4.1 billion. Despite constructing six Calvary-class submarines previously, Mazagin Dock Shipbuilders has been unable to bring the indigenous content beyond 60%, and this reliance on France for critical components is a key driver behind the inflated price tag. While media reports suggested that India is powering its Jorawa light tank with the American Cummins engine, due to delays in obtaining German export clearance for the MTU engine, latest reports suggest that the Jorawa prototype rolled out last week was actually powered by a 804 horsepower MTU Series 199 engine that was delivered to Larsen and Tubro. Today's top 3 comments.